Hi, Solar Family. So this is about my conversation with a timekeeper. Um, yes, we're still on the number five, but somehow I'm also going to explain or start to explain the letter N in this one. Um, because if you are to move on to these upper frequencies like the number six, you kind of have to be aware of what self-awareness is. Um, so is again another kind of complicated one. So I asked, can someone very concise from my stream please come and explain this to me simply? And then they said, sovereignty circuit spirit is folded inside one's reality. The mercury or etheric spirit changes color to identify our current location. You have been evolving quickly. Your blue planet incorporating hues of purple and violet. We are proud of you. And then I asked, may I have the honor of knowing who it is I communicate with? Uh, and then they spelled it out in this alphabet. So I was confused for a minute. I was like, oh, wait, that's what those letters are. Because like it was like automatic writing or automatic typing. Uh, and the long version was radiate clock time dimension nine core you flipped alpha latch time which I took to mean as my timekeeper. And I was like, oh, cool to officially meet you. And I said officially because I have met him, but I didn't think he was from 9D. I thought he was like from 5D. Uh, so I was like, do I have permission to interact with you? And they were like, yes. So um, I was like, why is all of this significant? And they were like, it is your geography and method of location. So I asked, how did we get from those diamond shapes on the last one to these hexagons here? And then they said, Prime Creator added or folded Earth and Ether through the other two location keys or dimensions. Prime Creator then added white light and removed void from these shapes. They expanded naturally in the way that life, or radi, which you have compared to evolution, does. Said, why does air seem to form an hourglass in two of the shapes and not the others? Does this relate to time? And then they were like, seven protects, but it is also the rat eye which acts as a triangulation point for time. And then I was like, well, what is meant by triangulation point for time? And they were like, the triangulation is located within your heart. As my human component, your memory serves as a map for where we can find checkpoints, both emotional and seemingly arbitrary. This relates to what you call deja vu and is why you also have been asked not to fill your mind with information we deem useless. And I said, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then they said, uh, and then I said, can you briefly explain what self-awareness is? And then they said, when something touches you emotionally, it changes you? And I said, yes. And then they said, well, in simple terms, that is self-awareness. And I was like, but you don't have to really know yourself for that to happen, I said. And they were like, well, children know themselves. We just tell them that they don't. It's more about source knowing itself through your awareness. The imagination is the fuel. Self-awareness fills the engine. And then I was like, well... Why does source, you know, tend to, and I, this is a personal thing, but like tunnel through our hearts or kind of crack open our hearts. And they're like, and self-awareness breaks up the blockages, cracks you to let the light in, and salt or wisdom reveals the worlds in which we dwell. This is more than just a metaphor for the process of creation. This is a compass. Starting at north, these hexagon were found by flipping and rotating like a Mobius strip. This is part of what Cosmic Christie calls mirror merge. Uh, that was my aside. We move toward sovereignty. We start off mirrored parallel inside of itself. It mirrors you add the purple divine life rat eye. But the other sovereign is stripped and holy grail kundalini fire is crowned. Rotate once, descend. Strip our sovereignty, or life, the purple. Rotate again and add back the red above, which helps us pull the fuel into the engine. Rotate once more. Strip yellow sovereignty, replace with red. Flip horizontal to ascend. You use the fire in your ship to ascend and flip. 
when I originally channeled this, I wasn't even sure why I had moved these um, shapes the way I did. But after understanding Inanna's descent, it makes sense. And I'm not getting into the Sumerian stuff yet. But um, if you go into all these ancient legends and stuff, there's all these stories about characters, both gods and humans, that descend into hell. And when it's a god or a goddess, they get out and it's, they've like, they've learned, you know, when it's a human, they really haven't learned. Um, and so the last part of this, it is by pulling up the red lower density kundalini fire, drawing it from the root that turns the spiral engine in your current version of reality clockwise. And then I said, thank you. Uh, and then they also told me that this also relates to the 579 prime uh, rule or uh, basically prime creator's light side being that odd um, odd number key and this is something I'm going to get into a little bit more later and I'm also going to get more into uh, how some of these portals move and things like that later on um, but yeah this was interesting um, so now we know other than our personal Merkaba, more like how up higher we can kind of move our ships and fuel our ships and turn our engines on. It was just really interesting to me. Oh, this also does relate to like Metatron Sword, so how it turns all different ways to like keep people out of Eden who don't belong there. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, self awareness interesting topic and they get more into that too later on okay thanks for listening all my peace and love and blessings i love you guys Mwah.